I'm Deborah, and I want to show you some unusual things growing in the test garden. This is the first one. This is a snake bean, and it's over three feet long. This is what it looks like when it's just a baby. It looks really like a little snake here. And then this is called a winged bean, and it has these unusual ridges, which is really cool. Um, beautiful passion flower and we have another variety that we're gonna show you in just a bit so come on in you probably have seen this but we love to grow this it's called love lies bleeding and it's a type of amaranth and they can get really big and very long and they can kind of take over too so be careful they might reseed next year too in places that you don't want, but I think they're quite beautiful. And over here, we have a Roselle hibiscus. This is really pushing it for our zone four, but I started these early under lights in uh, early spring and had them out and I'm hoping they flower before the frost. We're having a really warm fall, so I'm keeping my fingers crossed and I might also cover it if I need to, because. There's just one little flower starting to form. And these are the flower buds that go in hibiscus tea and hibiscus cocktails. And they're really bright pink and make beautiful drinks. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, let's go over here. These are two other plants that are more tropical and really also pushing it for zone four. This is ginger. And I started these with a piece of organic ginger from the supermarket. You don't want to start with non-organic because sometimes they're sprayed with growth inhibitor, but you put them in soil. It took about a month to sprout. And again, our season is short, so I started early. And I'm very excited to see that they're even starting to flower here. And I think that those are gonna be maybe bright pink or bright red, but I'm seeing that the, the rhizomes are starting to grow and we're gonna have a nice harvest of ginger. So it really changes the thought of eat local, buy local, when you can grow your own um, and not have these shipped from South America. Um, this is a dragon fruit plant. Kevin from Epic Gardening sent us this cutting last fall. And then this is the sad little growth in the winter because, you know, our winters are cold and dark and it was inside. But as soon as it got outside in the summertime, it put out this new growth and it looks really weird and cool and I love it. Probably won't get fruit out of it, but it's fun to watch it grow. A couple more things this way. This is our new arch that goes on our 2 by 8 elevated beds and I had fun growing this over the summer. I had watermelons growing on this side and this passion flower just keeps growing. Um, gorgeous flowers that are beautifully ornamental but we're even starting to get some fruit. So growing passion fruit in northern Vermont is pretty special. This is a um, Jagalo Nero kale. So when you start things from seed, you can get more interesting and unusual varieties. And we have lots of advice on our website for doing that. Happy gardening.